What is up? Oh wow, that was extra. Um, so my name is Alexis Verde. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe because I talk a lot about music and I honestly love investing. So we're gonna get straight into this video talking about the stock market and wealth building and what stocks I currently am investing in and what I use to invest, like with brokerages and all that. So let's get straight into it. Wealth building. Wealth building. First of all, what is wealth building? To me, it's simply multiplying your money and mainly through passive income streams. And passive income meaning basically the opposite of active income, which is active income is trading your time for money. And passive income is just is like creating a service or offering a service, putting your time and energy into something once, and then that one thing, after it's already done, it's still like collecting money. For example, YouTubers who create YouTube videos and they can create a YouTube video once, it took the time to create a video once, edit it, blah, blah, blah. But after that, you don't, hands off, it's still making money. Same with, um, like businesses if you just put up a website and you use different affiliate links or you put up a website and you have your own clothes on it you put it took time to take pictures of the clothes to post it on to post it on to your site but once you do that you're you know you're just collecting money or another example would be um a book um writing a book publishing a book and putting it on amazon so i think y'all get the gist so that's wealth but like wealth building to me that i want to mainly be building my wealth passively passively because i feel like there's only so much time that we have like time is literally the only thing that is not infinite right now you know like it is but while we're in these human bodies if you feel me if you get what i'm saying so um why is it important well it's important if you're i have a thing here by the way uh outline so that i stay focused so uh it's important if you're thinking about your children and you want to leave a legacy for your children um and their children possibly you know um it's important if you want to retire early and it's important if you value your time and you have a vision and, a, and goals for yourself and you want to be able to invest time into per those passions and those pursuits and not have to trade your time instead to work a job and then be tired at the end of the we're gonna get into that so when you're when you're in the process of wealth building the goal is financial independence right the ability to or financial freedom which would be we could say we could say that's defined by when the profits from your investments are basically sufficient enough and um yeah, sufficient enough to cover your expenses, like all your living expenses, living expenses and, and like everything, your daily expenses, um, including like, you know, like health care and stuff like that. Um, all right. So that's why I have this outline. <laughs> Traditionally, like Americans, we work until we're 65. I think that's like the retirement age or when you get like Social Security. But for one, Social Security is not reliable anymore because we're like running out of money. I remember just reading something saying how like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna even quote because i'm not exactly sure but also 65 is not i mean it's young if you have like a youthful mindset but it's not really like you're not in your prime anymore you probably don't want to travel if you wanted to travel you can't travel anymore um there's still some like you can't or not you can't but like for me personally i just wouldn't be able to work and like have that much of delay gratification you know like you'll be able to enjoy everything once you're 65 but people work past 65 because they can't like afford things are just crazy especially if you're in california or los, los angeles like i'm in right now anyway so let's talk about the three main ways that you can get rich all right so the three main ways you can get rich number one the stock market yes Doo -doo 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 um number two would be real estate there's a house right here real estate number three would be having your own business um and building your wealth that way um so these three are basically the ethical and um 
legal, <laughs> the ethical and legal ways to build wealth in this country, especially you could take advantage of the like opportunities here in the United States. So because like suing, for example, that's a way you can create wealth, like just suing the right people, the right companies and stuff. But that's like, I don't know, I wouldn't want to, I don't, I wouldn't want to make, I wouldn't want to build my wealth off of this pain and suffering of anybody else, you know? Um, but that's just me. And also like, I wouldn't, if I getting into real estate, I wouldn't be that landlord that's like racking up the price so ridiculously much, you know, even in Los Angeles, even in California. I don't think that's, nah, nah, I, I'm not, I'm not really down for that. Um, but anyway, that's basically wealth building. We're going to end up in this video here. Um, Mm, yes check out make sure you check out my next video which is going to be on the stock market but this is just a little breakdown of what i've been super into these days and um i'm excited to talk more about them so make sure you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like if you learned something new and you yes exactly so bye thank you for watching